Section is childhood. So it's childhood interests, work, beliefs, motivation, funny moments, love life, parenting, relationships, family, habits, education, entertainment, possessions, mindset, random things. We're not doing all that, but we're going to some of it. <laughs> so because it's 160 questions. I don't need 160 questions, just know me, you know. But yeah, we gonna we gonna get into it. So where did I grow up? I grew up in Haiti. I was born in Haiti. I grew up in Haiti, but then after that, like around like 10, 11, we came to New York. So technically, I grew up in New York, like Harlem, but at the same time, I grew up in Haiti, if that makes sense. It's like a mix of both a Haiti and then New York type shit. So yeah, but I would mostly say like, growing up, growing up, I would say Harlem, because I grew up in Harlem. Like I was, I was on 103rd type shit, you know? So it was like with that, yeah, but like, I don't know. Honestly, I don't, I never know how to answer this question. Um, what did you do for fun as a child? As a child, what I did for fun was be around like my siblings. Like I like being around my siblings. siblings. I like hanging out with my sisters. I like having, I like hanging out with my brother. All that. With me, I feel like the funnest thing for me was like being around them and like you know just doing stupid shit with each other. Like enjoying life, like living life, not having to worry about nothing, not stressing, nothing, bro, not having no type of stress in the world. I think that's like the funnest thing I did as a child. And then like just like what else? Um. Honestly, I don't know. Just being free, like, cause when you're a kid, you're free. So it's like, as a child, you're free. You know what he's expecting of you. So yeah, I guess that's fun. <laughs> Who was your role model in your life? In my life, my role model. Oh, I don't know why I said that. In my life, my role model obviously is myself because I feel like you have to look at yourself. Like as a person that's like at a bad place right now, but then eventually you're gonna get there, you know? And then like my mom, of course, because my mom never gave up on me, honestly. Like whatever, it don't matter whatever situation, like it don't matter what kind of situation I'm in, I don't feel like she ever gave up on me or never ever made me feel like it's my fault or you know? Like even though like there's certain situations I'm going on, like I was wrong in it, but like she never made me feel like a bad guy or like she never made me feel like a bad person and stuff like that. So like I look at my mom as a role model because she's a hardworking woman. She's independent. She has a whole husband where to the point where it's like she don't even have to work. But this this lady still gets up every day at four o'clock and goes to work and takes her ass to work and do what she got to do because my mother's really independent and she don't like to have her money in other people's pockets. She wanted her own money. Like my mom, she got it going going on. My mom, she got it going on. And it's like when it comes to my mom talking about her, I get really emotional and like tongue tongue twist or whatever because it's just like that lady is just like i don't even know i don't, I don't got no words to explain i really don't did you have any childhood pets yes i did we had a childhood pet called blue and he was a fish y'all and of course a place y'all know blue carbon blue high school musical that was where we got the name from we was obsessed with high school musical we was obsessed with him so we called our our fish blue <laughs> literally when you were young, what did you want to be? Honestly, y'all, when I was young, I really, I really didn't want to be nothing. I just wanted to be like a, like I just wanted to be known, if that makes sense. Like I want people to know me for doing something good and making them feel good. Or like, honestly, I used to think about being a model and stuff like that. But I feel like in life, anybody could be a model. So it's like we're all models in our own world, you know. So it's like in life, I don't know. It's just like, I don't know. Honestly, like as a child, I never really thought about that. Oh my god, when I grow up, I want to be 
a freaking lawyer like I didn't think about shit like that because it's like with me I felt like my life was already planned for me ever since I was a child that makes sense so it was like I don't know I don't know how to make it make sense for you so but I did want to be um around like college like the college days and stuff like that I did want to be a teacher I was trying to be like a teacher like early childhood education I was trying to go into that because I found that really interesting what family traditions were important to you? Traditions. I guess taking trips like once in a while, that's important because sometimes you just gotta reconnect with the people that's in your house and like see how they doing, see how you're doing, this, that, and the third. And like, you know, just talk and like, see how everybody's life is going and that shit. So I feel like you gotta keep up with like, little like vacations, like to relax and like take a fresh, take a breather and like stuff like that, you know? All right, we're gonna get out the childhood questions. This is the get to know me questions, like the interests. This is the interest. So what do I do for fun? For fun, this is what I do for fun. For fun, I do YouTube. Like YouTube is fun for me. Editing is fun for me. It gets frustrating, trust me, because nothing is just one way. But it's like at the same time, this is fun for me. Doing this is fun for me. Like I could be rolling a spliff right now, and I'm like, no, I wanna do this, because this is fun for me. Like this is fun, you know? This is my life, this is something I wanna like, live off of this is something i want to have my kids live off my child live off of so it's like at the end of the day i'm looking at it like i'm doing what i'm already supposed to be doing like this is fun for me like you know just you know stuff like that okay but let me answer the question the right way what do i do for fun probably watch movies smoke my weed eat some good food i love me some safe food you know shit like that is fun for me like i'm not really a person that like i like to do like i like okay let me answer the question the right way i like to do stuff outside the box like like you know ask them and like you know shit like that like because i never did that before but I, I did do it but i never like like i'm saying like in the past tense i never did that before so like at the same time it's just like little cool stuff i guess i never did before would be fun what are your hobbies my hobbies are smoking smoking like that <laughs> No, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't think I have any hobbies, honestly. Probably like reading, but I have to get back into it, honestly. What is something that you're really passionate about? I'm passionate about my life. I'm passionate about people thinking they could like fuck up my life. Like I'm passionate about that. Like I'm really passionate about not letting people bring me back to where I was. I'm passionate about like creating a great lifestyle for myself. I'm passionate about myself. I'm passionate about my life. Like, you know, like I haven't been passionate about my life in a minute. Not a minute, but like, it really took me a minute to like wake up and realize, bro, you're exactly where you're supposed to be. And like, get, get, get to it. Like, you know, like, you know, enjoy it type shit. What is something you wish you did more often? not procrastinate like literally because i feel like if i would not procrastinate or tell myself no or like psych myself out i would get a whole lot more shit done you know so it's just that like i feel like if i was to not procrastinate i would get a whole lot more shit done so that's really a honest thing how do you feel about travel I love traveling. I can't wait for y'all to see my travel vlogs soon because I had I have travel vlogs on my, on my um, channel right now and they still going crazy. So I already know once I throw up this next travel vlog, y'all gonna love it. I don't know where I'm going, honestly. We're gonna see. It's a surprise for you and for me, honestly. So we just gonna see. And we just gonna have an amazing time because trust me, once I'm next time I'm on somebody's island, I'm turning the fuck up. Literally, turning up. Y'all gonna see everything. Y'all gonna see me twerking and y'all never seen me twerk before. <laughs> so, not that I'm still serious. I'm so serious. Like, I'm about to get crazy this summer. Okay, so this is like work question. What made you get into your work field? Honestly, for me, it was just like I was seeing people do it, and I was like, hold up, this is interesting. They literally like because I, I okay when i'm thinking about it i used to do little documentaries and stuff like that when i was little like me and my sisters we would have like cameras and stuff we would just be filming everything so i'm thinking about it, i'm like hold up they're doing the stuff that i used to do when i was a child but in a professional way you know why can i not do that and start you know living the lifestyle that not the same lifestyle they're living obviously because i'm a whole different person with a whole different goals and stuff but it's like at the same time it was just like 
if they could do it, I could do it too. You know, it was like a boost. It was like a motivation. It was like I'm looking up to people that I already see them doing it. Why can't I do it too? And then it's like for me, like I had to get in that field because around that time, I wasn't getting help with my, I wasn't getting help with my loan. So it was just like it was just hard for me. I was just like, you know what? I need to just figure it out and just do something that's gonna really take my life to the next level. And that was it. about your work that you find stressful um i would say editing sometimes because sometimes you could be editing and you just make a mistake and that could be like that could fuck up the whole video literally and then, or like for example like you could be editing and like you think you're saving a video the right way but it doesn't save and like the whole video corrupts or like for example when you save the video you think like you save the video but then you end up deleting everything to make space for your computer and then the video ends up posting but then you see that there's an error in the video so now you gotta fucking edit the whole video over it. it's a whole lot that comes with editing y'all so i would say like editing is probably the most stressful part of my video the funnest part is actually picking up the camera and recording that's actually the funnest part but editing to me is like the stressful part but it's the part that needs that's important and needs to be done because that's what's gonna show like the work you know What is one of your strengths? One of my strengths, I would say, is my heart. For some reason, like my heart is so big to the point, like, like I could, I could know somebody's a bad person for me, or I could know somebody's like just bad energy, and I'll still give them my all. Because at the end of the day, I just I have a big heart, and like, I don't like people, sh like, sh I don't like people to feel like how I feel. If that makes sense. So it's just like I don't know how to explain that. But that's like my my strength. I wouldn't look at it as my weakness because at the end of the day, my heart like will never direct me wrong. But at the same time, I know like like I just know like in my heart like who to trust and who not trust, who to not trust, honestly. And like even if it's not like that in real life, it's just like God will always show you like the people that's meant for you and the people that's not meant for you. Like with the littlest thing, they could do the littlest thing and you'd be like, oh, this is why, you know. Um, all right, so this is like belief questions. We're not gonna, we're probably not gonna get, get into that because um, okay, we're gonna get into it because it got a little questions I can answer. If you could change something about the country, what would it be? I already said this already homeless, home people being homeless, basically. People being homeless, you're seeing like the craziest shit of people sleeping outside, they stand up there with their kids, they dogs, the same thing. Like, I don't find none of that shit normal, but. That's the world we live in, you know? What is one fundamental? No, I'm not using it. What makes you angry most? Liars. I hate liars. I hate people who just like don't make sense or like people who just like product. I hate people who manipulate you. Like I just hate people who think they could do certain things and like get over on somebody, you know? Like, I don't like people like that. That makes me angry because it's just like, I'm a nice person. You don't gotta do me like that, you know? So it's like, when people do weird shit, it just makes me so angry. Because it's like, why are you me? Why are you moving weird? Like, it's just weird. Like, why are you being weird? Okay, this is like more motivational. What drives you to get out of bed each morning? Me, God, thanking God the first thing when I wake up my future my future child like you know just all that in one like that really motivates me that really motivates me to get up every day and do what i gotta do like my boyfriend julie really motivates me encourages me like he's just like my number one supporter and i appreciate him for that so it's just like at the end of the day it's just like it's yeah it's really all that in one um what goals do you have for yourself? Right now, the biggest goal I got for myself is to stop procrastinating with my life. Get shit done. Get shit done this year, this summer. Get shit done, you know? Stop procrastinating. Like, if you want to have a good birthday this year, don't procrastinate on your life, you know? That's how, that's my goal for this, for myself.
how easy or difficult it is to motivate yourself. It's very easy to motivate myself because all I gotta do is watch like positive videos, get myself there, Sarah Jakes Roberts get me there, she gets me all the way there, y'all. You know, but then you do got difficult it do get difficult sometimes. Cause some days you don't wanna get up and do shit. So those are the difficult days and it's just like how do you even stay motivated? I feel like with those with that type of mindset, you still gotta keep that mindset. Like you don't wanna do shit, so why force yourself to do shit, you know? Stay in that mindset and then the next day make it a better day. Make it a more productive day. But for that day, stay in that little slump and really don't do nothing. Don't film nothing, don't record nothing, don't be hard on yourself for not doing anything. You know what I'm saying? Like all that plays into one. So it does get difficult when like trying to motivate yourself. It, it does get difficult when trying to motivate yourself because not every day is gonna be a good day, you know? But it's like, you gotta try. You gotta always just keep trying, keep trying, keep pushing through it, keep pushing through it, keep pushing through it. Okay, these are like the funny questions. What is the worst late night story? What is the most ridiculous thing you purchased? Okay, my head I always thought this was so ridiculous, but I wanted to get it because I seen it on TikTok. But it was this thing like a shower thing, which I didn't even fucking end up using because to me it was just too complicated. My phone was gonna get wet regardless. But it's like a shower thing you put in a shower so you can watch movies while you're taking a shower. Honestly, that's so stupid because why would you want to stand there and watch a movie while you're taking a shower? You could just take a shower, get the fuck out, and watch a movie, you know? So it's just like to me, I feel like that was like the stupidest purchase I ever made in my whole life. But it did come in handy when it came in handy. But I think I only end up use, I think I only used that like twice, honestly. I didn't use it more than twice right here. <laughs> okay. Um What is something you did when you were younger that makes you cringe to think about? Let people um bully me. Because it's like, damn, we all get bullied, but it was so cringy to think that little old me was just standing there taking all that. Because it's just like, wow, people are so mean. Like, it's so cringy, bro. Like, ugh, so cringy. Or like, like to think about how I used to dress. Like, not how I used to dress, but like, like my hairstyles and stuff. Like, when I was younger, I ain't no better, y'all. Like, you know, my clothes and stuff, I ain't no better. So, like, all that is so cringy to me. Because, like, damn, people done seen you in that era. Like, they gonna forever remember that. But not they not though at the same time but it's like you know like it's like that's how i be thinking about it um how has your fashion sense changed over the years i'm becoming more i wouldn't say my fashion sense has changed but i would say i'm becoming more like a street wear girly type of person i'm starting to see a little bit i like i love the baggy clothes and i love the tight clothes so it's like at the end of the day i think i'm like in the middle like i could do both like i could be both sexy both tomboy you know so it's like with me that's how i think i'm about to start looking at it honestly like my fashion sense like half half tomboy half just straight sexy like you can't tell me nothing like that's for straight going on you know i just need to get my whole like i just want to like i just want to throw all my clothes out and just start all over again and honestly y'all that's what i'm really about to do honestly what is the most adventurous thing you've done? Travel to Barbados with my boyfriend and we got we had our own car. We was driving places, doing extra, like just doing mad shit. To me that was adventurous because I never went out the country by myself and like just really enjoyed myself like that. And you no, know, I was safe. Cause you know, sometimes when you go to places like that, you you know like you're not gonna be safe and shit. Cause you know, you never know who playing on you, who watching you, this, that, and the third. But I was safe in Barbados. I'm, I'm safe wherever I go, that's all I know. Cause God always got me. But it was good it was adventurous i have fun i'm i seen monkeys they put a snake on me oh my God. what is something that always makes you laugh that's a good question i don't know, i guess when my baby do something stupid like when you do something that he know that's gonna make me laugh like or not make i don't know i don't i don't know how to explain it i'm the same person i laugh at anything but at the same time i pick and choose what i laugh at if that makes sense i don't know if that makes sense i don't think that makes sense but yeah that's how i, I look at it okay
okay an ideal day it says what does an ideal day look like so an ideal day with my boyfriend because I'm, I'm already in a relationship with y'all i don't gotta pretend like i'm single but you know the ideal day with my boyfriend would be like seafood drinks a, um dim lights a spot to ourselves couches you know because we gotta be comfortable like buckets because so we got throw the crab legs and stuff tv like a big ass tv fire like the fire pit thingy we watching something ratchet on tv we enjoying ourselves <laughs> that's my ideal date and like smoking weed you know like all that that's my ideal date honestly what drew you to your partner honestly let me know if y'all want to hear a story time how i met my boyfriend but honestly this is what really drew me to my boyfriend because it's like when we first met each other it felt like we kind of met each other if that made sense it felt like i kind of already knew him if that made sense because i'm the type of person i'm not comfortable with nobody i don't be comfortable with nobody and when it came to him i was comfortable with him like this instantly i don't know if that's a good thing or i don't know if that's a bad thing but you know like sometimes in life you meet your person in like the weirdest way i honestly feel like he's my person we, we taught each other so much things we're still teaching each other things so like at the end of the day it's like we're growing with each other and i love that for us so yeah i would say like yeah mm -hmm. I would, say, I would say that's what really drew me to him. He made me feel comfortable. And he made me laugh, y'all. He made me laugh 10 seconds into really knowing me. Like, he did something that was so funny. Because, like, I got to tell y'all the story. Because it's going to make it's gonna make sense. So let me know if y'all want to hear that story. Time. What do you think the most essential quality in a healthy relationship? Communication. Literally, communication. Okay, y'all, we're about to be at the end of this video because you already know my camera. If I get a new camera, on this camera will forever act with yeah. Let's get to the last couple of questions. We're gonna get stick to the relationship part. What unhealthy habits do you struggle with? Um, I would say, um, I guess drinking. Drinking is not good for you. It makes you age faster. So that's something I struggle with, is drinking. Um, what do you wish you did better? Saving, like money saving. I wish I could save better. And like, you know, just learn how to save money better and not like spend it all when I get it. Where did you go to college? I went to BMCC, but I did go to LaGuardia at first, but then I ended up transferring to BMCC. Hated both of them. They was both trash, honestly, in my, in my opinion. If you could reduce a school experience, what would it be? My high school graduation, because I was finally done and I was ready to get the fuck up out of there. So yeah, I will redo that shit again. Like, y'all, I'm getting the fuck up out of there again. But then I would have to start life all over again. But then I'll probably like start life all over again with a different mindset, you know? Mm -hmm. What do you watch on television? Honestly, with, when it comes to TV, I don't really watch much. Honestly, like sometimes it'll just be on, just to be on. But like the specific shows, I'll probably be like Love and Hip Hop. Albert Elementary, because I know I've been watching that on TV lately when it was out still and that's really it other than i really want to don't watch shit on tv if you could get a free ticket to any event what would it be the poor mind concert coming up right now you know not right now but in um in or not august yeah august the poor minds was well, not a concert but it's, a, it's like a live show coming up shit give me them free tickets for that because i gotta pay <laughs> I think I'm, I'm gonna come back to this. I might come back to this, and I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do more questions with y'all. Like, this is a lot of questions, y'all, and I'm getting like overwhelmed right now. So I'm going through this. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe. If you do have any more questions you would like to me to answer yourself, comment them in the comment section. Get to know. Try to resist, we can get away. Come chase each feels in every day. All I wanna hear.